It's nice to meet you. Nice to I, meet you, I too. I got to start with the, the History Channel series you were in called uh, Texas Rising. Yes, indeed. Awesome job. Thank you so much. We what, had a, what did you learn about our state? I learned a lot. Um, you know, even though we didn't film it in Texas. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. They went and ruined it for everybody. No, I'm kidding. Um, but no, it was a great experience. I mean, it, it was a huge epic and, and, you know, I met a lot of wonderful people and, and got a chance to portray this iconic figure of the Yellow Rose of Texas. So, you know, I think... That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know you have a theme song. Well, the character does. There's yeah. a yellow rose in Texas. <laughs> now, I'm saying this. That was not my intention today, by the way. <laughs> hey, congratulations on The Accountant. I have to ask you, though, what does it feel like to have a director, as an actress, how does it feel to know that the director just completely zoomed in on you for this role? I feel incredibly grateful and blessed. I mean, I, I guess I didn't really have a, a sense of that. You know, the audition for me was you know, sort of a, your typical audition, but I also knew that in terms of the material, it was something I absolutely wanted to be part of. Um, so to sort of find out that, you know, they had had a hard time finding this role and, and sort of stumbled upon me, I mean, it, it uh, I, I don't take it for granted and I'm incredibly excited to be part of this film. How crazy is this story? When you first read the script, were you just like, I just saw it and I'm still trying to digest everything that happened. Yeah. But to read the <laughs> script as an actress, were you just going, wow? I mean, I had to read it a few times because, you know, there's there's so much information packed into this two-hour movie, but that is the kind of movie that I personally really like. I like something that makes you think and makes you sort of backtrack and, and try to sort of go along with the, the puzzle as well, you know? So I, I think that the audience is going to be really receptive to it, and who knows, maybe they even see it a second time just to... to be detectives themselves and see if they can sort of piece it all together. You have some incredible scenes with J.K. Uh, Simmons. I, let me, first of all, what is it like to work with him? Because I'm just asking him questions and I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't imagine being in the same room acting or an intense role with him. What, what was that like? You know, it was really easy in a lot of ways. I mean, I know he plays really intense characters, you know, and he's sort of, you know, perfected that, obviously, with, with a few roles over the years. But, you know, in real life, he's just a, a really down-to-earth person and actor and he's just really present and so you know him being present that that makes it easy because you just really feel like you're having a real sort of exchange so of course I was excited to work with somebody of his caliber and and hopefully learn some things from him and I think he does an amazing job in the film. He didn't throw a symbol at you so that's good. <laughs> yeah thank god. <laughs> Would you hire this accountant? Um Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah Depends on what I'd be hiring him for, I guess. <laughs> Final question for you. Speaking of the accountant and your role in this film, did you have to learn, like, treasury laws or finance? It would have gone over my head. Yeah. I, tell you that. Um, I wanted to get a sense of the environment she worked in, but I think what was more important for me to tap into is just, you know, her backstory and, and who this woman is and how she conducts herself in certain situations. I wanted to bring an emotional honesty to it. I mean, all of the other details of of life at the Treasury Department are important too, but I think for an audience to connect, it was more about you know how she was feeling.